Hi, my name is Rebecca Reed and I'm the Outreach Manager at the Fort Worth Museum of Science and History. Today we're going to learn about catapults and take some time to build two different kinds. First, let's talk a little bit about what a catapult is and what they were for. A catapult is a ballistic device that's used to launch a projectile a great distance with the aid of gun, without the aid of gunpowder propellants. Most catapults work using a sudden release of stored potential energy to propel its payload. Most converted tension or torsion energy built up in the device before release via springs, bows, twisted ropes, elastic, or any other materials or mechanisms. There are a few different types of catapults, but today we're going to talk specifically about trebuchets. There are two different kinds. The first is a traction trebuchet. It uses manpower to swing the arm. It first appeared in China in the 4th century BC, and the technology was adapted by the Byzantines in the late 6th century AD and by the surrounding cultures in the following centuries. The second kind of trebuchet is a counterweight trebuchet, and that one uses gravity to swing a counterweight, and then that swings the arm. It appeared around the Mediterranean in the 12th century, and it made its way back to China via Mongol conquests in the 13th century. Now we're going to make two different catapults. The first one is made with nine popsicle sticks, a plastic spoon, and five rubber bands. Okay, now we're going to build our first catapult. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get your spoon and you use one of your rubber bands to attach it to a popsicle stick. And so you just want to line it up and then you're just going to wrap it around. If you have really small rubber bands, you may want to do it in two spots. I have rather large ones. And so I can wrap it up and down the whole length of that popsicle, of that spoon handle and popsicle stick and get them good and attached. And this one you want to be, you want it to be pretty tight because you want them to kind of be one, um, one thing. You want them to stay stuck together. So that's step one right there. You got them attached just like that. Now you're going to build, you're going to attach your second stick right here and you're going to build the part that goes like this. And so you want that to be sort of able to be hinged. And so you want to attach them with a rubber band, but you don't want to do it so tight that you can't do the next step. So you want to make sure that once you do it, it's on there and it's tight, but that you're, it's able to spin. See, and I think that's actually a little too tight. So we're going to loosen it up a little bit. You want to make sure that you have that ability for it to move. Yes, that's much better. See, I can get those apart because we need that, that lever action in there. We need that, that split there. So then you're gonna build the stack of popsicle sticks that splits up those two and gives your, you the, the potential energy you need. And so you're gonna stack up seven popsicle sticks. And if you wanted to do experiments, you could try doing fewer or more and see what that does to your catapult, if it makes it better or if it um, makes it not work as well. And if you do those kinds of experience, experiments, we would love to hear about those and we'd love for you to post those in the comments. So um, like I, you can see what I'm doing, I'm just stacking them up and then I'm just rubber banding both ends together. I'm basically creating like one big popsicle stick. Okay, and then you're gonna take them and this is kind of tricky and you might need a grown up to help you. You're gonna put them between each other and you wanna put it up enough so that your spoon is up nice and high, but not so much that you accidentally break your popsicle stick. And then once you get this in, then you're gonna take a rubber band and this is where it gets really tricky and you might need a grown up to help you a little bit. So you're gonna use a rubber band to attach those two parts together. And there's not really a right or wrong way to this. You just sort of wrap it all around. The more even you make it, the more um, straight it'll stay but there's not really a right or wrong. And this, you, you want this to be reasonably tight. You just want to keep it though from slipping. So it's not too important that it's super strong. And there you go. Now you can see we've built a catapult using some popsicle sticks, a rubber band and a spoon. Now to launch your catapult, what you're going to do is you're going to hold it down with one hand and you're going to pull back on your spoon covered popsicle stick and let go and so when you pull back you're increasing the potential energy that that spoon has and when you let go that potential energy is changing to the energy of motion kinetic energy now we're going to build a catapult that's a little more complicated to build and a lot bigger for this catapult you're going to need six wooden dolls nine large rubber bands a small plastic cup scissors and a hole punch 
First, you're going to build the base of your catapult and it's going to be triangle shaped. So you're going to take three of your dolls and hold them together with rubber bands on the ends. Next, you're going to attach your three uprights to each corner. And that's a little trickier. But once again, you just sort of wrap that rubber band around sort of like we did in our last catapult. And once you get all three attached, you're going to attach them up at the top together, making a three sided pyramid. Then you're ready to build the launching part of your catapult. So what you're going to do then is you're going to take your cup and you're going to use your hole punch to make three holes along the top of the cup. You want them to be as equal distant as you can make them. Then you're going to take your last three rubber bands and you're going to cut them open to make like a rubber band string. And you're going to tie one end to the cup in each hole. Then finally, you're going to take those rubber band strings and tie them to the frame. And you want to make sure you tie them to the three corners of one side of your pyramid. You want to get them as far to the corners as you can. If you find that your rubber bands aren't quite long enough, you could take additional rubber bands and cut them open and tie them on and make a longer rubber band string. And that would work fine too. Now, once you've got your cup suspended in the middle of the frame, you're ready to go. Now to launch this catapult, you're going to put your projectile in the cup. You're going to pull back on your cup to increase your catapult's potential energy, and then you'll let go and you'll watch that projectile fly. I hope you enjoyed making catapults with us today. We'd love to see pictures of your creations, so please share them on our social media. If you have any questions or ideas for other things you want to learn, please let us know, and you can send those to questions at fwmsh.org. Thanks for watching.